Hi, I'm Colin Daniels. I'm the Working Age and Young People's Manager for the Macula Society. We're going to talk about today accessibility on Windows computers, that accessibility that's already built in. So good thing it's free. I've chosen a few of my favourite things to demonstrate on this video today. OK, number one. This is my absolutely favourite function. It's reverse contrast. I use it every day myself and it does exactly what it says on the tin. It reduces the glare on the screen. So instead of having colours on a white background, it has colours on a black background, reducing the glare. And the great thing is, it's really simple to do. Simply on the keyboard, tap and hold, Alt, Shift, Print Screen. As you can see, a dialog box has opened up, asking whether you'd like to use reverse contrast. Click on Yes or hit Enter. The reverse contrast has taken effect, and if I open another window, you'll see that it's black background with white writing which reduces the glare from the screen. To turn this setting off, just follow the same steps. As I said before, this is my absolute favourite feature and I would suggest that if your eyes have any sensitivity to light at all, you give it a go. Number two, we're going to talk about that pesky mouse pointer. I don't know about you, but I quite often lose it on the screen. So there are ways of making it a little bit bigger and changing the colour of it so you can follow it around the screen a little more easily. To get to your pointer options, click on the Windows button which is in the bottom left hand corner of the screen. Then click on Settings which looks like a little cog. Then click on Device and then select Mouse which is on the left hand side of the window. Under the related settings, click on Adjust Mouse and Cursor Size. This will open a new window. At the top of this window, there is a slider. You can use this to make the mouse either bigger or smaller. Below the slider, you also have the option to change the color of your pointer. Your options are white with a black outline, black with a white outline, and a mouse that will change color depending on what it's sitting on to make it stand out. You also get the option to choose your own colour. There are a few other things that we can do to the pointer to make it stand out a little bit more on the screen, but they are on a different section. Click on the back arrow, which is in the top left hand corner of this window. That will take you back to mouse options. Then click on additional mouse options, which will open another window. Select pointer options from the tabs at the top of this new window and then scroll down to the visibility section. In this section, two of these options are really useful. You can put a tail on the mouse and select the length of it, either short or long, so you can see it moving around the screen. And also, there is an option to press and hold down the control button, which is in the bottom left-hand corner of your keyboard, and this will put a circle round the mouse and draw your eye towards it. Number three, increasing the size of the font. Again, this is really easy to do, and all you have to do is follow these simple steps. On your computer, click on the Home key, which is in the bottom left-hand corner. Then click on the Settings button, which looks like a little cog. This will open a new window, where you click on Ease of Access. This will open a new window, and right at the very top, there is a slider in display that will increase and decrease the font. The size of this text will be shown as you move the slider up and down. Once you've found the size that you're happy with, simply click Apply. Number four, Windows also has a magnifier built into it. It's reasonably good, but again, it's free, and this is how you turn it on. On the keyboard, hold down the Windows key which is the one with the little window symbol on it. Hold it down and double tap the plus button on the numpad. This will turn the magnifier on. Then use the plus and the minus on the numpad to increase and decrease the magnification. There's a couple of options of what magnifier you'd like to use, but have a play and see which one suits you the best. To turn off the magnifier, again hold down the Windows key and hit Escape. 
So there you go, there's a few of my favourite accessibility functions built into a Windows computer. Why don't you let me know what your favourites are in the comment box below. If you've got any questions about what you've seen in this video today, why not give the Macula Society Advice and Information Line a call on 0300 3030 111 and I'm sure they'll be able to give you some further information. See you on the next one.